Hello, this is Rebecca with Rebecca Read Creative. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to create a privacy policy on Show It. So the first step is to come over and just create a blank page plus add blank page and title it terms and conditions or privacy policy, depending on which one you're doing. You probably should do both. So if you go to my privacy policy, um, you can get your privacy policy um, and have it be a fill in the blank template. Uh, I always suggest using the legal page and she, I think it's just backslash shop. And then if you want, I think I have a 10% off code. If you use the code Becca, B-E-K-A-H. If it doesn't work, let me know. But um, on her shop, she has a privacy policy um, template that you can buy and just fill in. And it makes it really easy to make sure that you're being legally legit, as she would say. She would say. So um, that is that. And then you just add it to your new page. So I created a new page. And then I just made sure to click add uh, new canvas. And I would add all the canvases that I have on all my pages. So my menu, my footer, so on and so forth. So I just came over to my like home. Um, and I copied all of those pages. So that this privacy policy still has, you know, my mobile menu as well as my all my menus. So you just click on home and then it'll pull up. It's taking a while. You just click on it and you click add canvas. So that got me to have these canvases up there and down there. And then for the privacy policy, you just create a blank canvas and you add one big text box. So you can add that text box by coming right here to the T and clicking paragraph. And then you just fill it all in, copy and paste the information that you received from uh, the legal page contract or, whatever, or if you have a lawyer, whatever. So then once you have that privacy policy, it's time to make it pop up at the bottom of your homepage. So if you go back to your homepage and click on page, click add new canvas, and it'll come down to the bottom. You can retitle it if you want. So I'm gonna retitle it privacy policy pop up that's what it's going to be all right and then now you have this privacy policy i just wrote the site uses cookies by scrolling around the site you agree to our privacy policy simple and then you're going to create a button and so i'm just going to change the color that's fine i'll make the border a couple and then I'll have it be look like that. You can play around with that, of course, but. Um, and then you can do another text block, text box. Drag it. And just say like, okay, got it. Add a little bigger. And then you need to do everything on the mobile side as well. So um, my face is covering it, but if you come over here, you can just replicate what you already created. So there's my text box. I'm gonna make it green. To make the background um, color, you just click on the canvas and then it'll pop up, pop up over here. So I'm gonna change that background color. a little border and then the next step, step is to link your privacy policy so I would just come in right here double click and highlight privacy policy click your little link and then you link it to a page you link it to your privacy policy. You can open it in a new window if you want. I don't really need them to do that. And then I'm gonna drag this up. I'm gonna make sure everything is centered. So if you highlight it like that and center it um, by just clicking on it and then clicking on that, making sure everything looks good. All right. First, let's do the button. So when they click, okay, got it, I want it to go away. That's pretty important because it's annoying, right? So you go to click actions we're going to do an action so instead of show canvas we're going to click hide canvas 
And then same with the green button because they might click out of like the, okay, got it. If that makes sense. And you can check, but it should automatically do it over on the mobile as well. So right now where this canvas is landing, I actually do wanna show you. I have it at the bottom. So if you go to that page, you can see it's at the bottom of the page. Um, and that's not exactly where I want it. I want it to be like at the bottom, but on like when you land on the page to be right there and then kind of scroll with it. Let's see if there's anything I can tell you in the meantime about privacy policies. Um, why you should have them. It's a way to make your site GDPR compliant. Um, a lot of people get really stressed about that and they don't know what it means. Just add a privacy policy. Um, some states are a little bit more strict about it, like California, um, but just be safe and add it. It's really not that much work, as I'm showing you. All right, so here's the website. It's taking a while to load, but we're just gonna scroll down so I can show it to you. So here it is. This is good, but again, I want it to be popping up right here and then kind of like dragging down. So to do that feature, you simply go to the canvas, click on the overall canvas, so just make sure you're not clicking on like a feature, like the block. So you click on the overall canvas and you go to canvas on the right hand side, make the stacking order about five, and then you wanna make it sticky to the bottom. So just change this right here, sticky to the bottom. And then when you preview it, it will show up on the bottom like this um, and scroll down and then okay, got it, makes it go away. That's all there is to it.